to The Distinguished Geek. My name is Alex. This is going to be the final uploads of the GeekFest reruns. So this is GeekFest 5.0 and this is the year that actually GeekFest increased in size having two trading marquees opposed to one from the previous years. Um, a more larger tournaments um, uh, and more events such as escape rooms and the dark rooms and a larger com cosplay competition. So it's also the first time that the Force of Charity Star Wars group attended the event teaming up with the UK Garrison 501st which was the national Star Wars group. So a great team. What a team they were it was an absolutely amazing day and i had the pleasure of being there on behalf of geek fest filming for geek fest but also on the pleasure of being on behalf of force of charity and the 501st um and vlogging their movements over the weekend so it'd be really good to know um did you attend geek first 5.0 what do you think of it did you wish you attended just leave a comment down below and uh, let me know so like I said earlier, um, this rerun is going to be a two-part series because of the videos are slightly long. But instead of what I originally was going to do was leave at least a week uh, and post a second video, I will now leave it a few days, um, allowing you to watch this first episode and then I'll post the second one. So look out for that one. So yeah, so I'm really looking forward to next year, the 2021 uh, Geek Fest. It's going to be quite exciting. Um, hopefully COVID-19 may be... It may be eradicated, you don't know, or maybe the social distancing will be uh, minimised. We don't know, obviously, but uh, hopefully these sort of gatherings will be much more. But obviously we've got more time to plan ahead now uh, and hopefully um, get all the conferences, all the, the Comic Cons up and running again for next year. And hopefully have a, a sense of normality, um, even if COVID's around just for mental health and and just 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 normality really isn't it because obviously there's this whole lockdown well the lockdown and the local lockdowns and, and COVID-19 in general it's putting a strain on people's lives mentally and or resources uh, but on that note I hope you guys are keeping safe and well right enjoy the videos uh, please leave a comment down below and let me know how you thought this video was and how the Geek Fest videos were it doesn't have to be the Geek Fest 5.0 it could be the previous videos uh, but it's just your thoughts. We're good to know about your thoughts on how you thought of GeekFest in general and the whole evolution of the GeekFest. Um, and again, like your thoughts of last year's because obviously it was held by a different organiser. Uh, but all good. Right, definitely looking forward to next year. I uh, hope you guys are too. Uh, but all good. Right, again, enjoy the video. And as always, please like, share and subscribe. And I'll see you very soon. Goodbye. Welcome to another episode of The Distinguished Geeks. So we are here once again, another year. It's GeekFest 5.0. Can you believe it's been a year? Can you believe that? How amazing is that? <laughs> right, so who's probably dancing in the camera? Pretty good, yeah. So, uh, but behind me is Force for Charity, as you can see, proud. Um, so, just opened. Q's coming in, so we'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, behind the camera there is the uh, Steak puff marshmallow man, like I said, so we'll have a look at that. Um, much bigger this year, much, much bigger. So we've got uh, two marquees for the traders. We've got a marquee for the cosplayers. It's quite warm, not as hot as last year, but it is still still quite warm. And um, obviously the zones now are, are, instead of numbered, they're now split into names of spaceships, such as the TARDIS, Millennium Falcon, and the Prometheus and so on like that. So we'll have a look around and we'll have a look at those zones. Uh, so the same things for last year. So you've got like the Nerf Gun tournament, you've got the cosplays, you've got 
the uh, Lightsaber Academy here to my right. Uh, and then we've got some lawn games, which is fantastic. So last year we had just the sort of like the inflatable uh, playground for the kids, but now we've got a bit more for the kids, the lawn games. Uh, so it keeps them entertained, you know, the under fives, because, you know, it can get sort of a bit, you know, I wouldn't say boring, but I mean, you've got to keep them entertained, like we always say. So, on that note, we'll have a look around. So, we'll have a look at the queue. You can see the turnout already, so it's only just opened. And uh, we'll have a look. Okay, this is going to be an amazing event. It's a two-day event, uh, Saturday and Sunday, and it's looking pretty good. Everyone's made such a good effort. The cosplayers so far are really, really good, as usual, uh, but some really, really good designs. Uh, sort of a baby Ray. I saw a little girl just with Ray. Sweet as. Awesome. Okay, let's have a look at the queue. Amazing turnout behind me, as you can see. So quite a good queue. Only been open for about half an hour, if that. So really, really good start for the day. Um, and while we're here, to my left is this beauty. Pretty cool. Awesome. Right. One meant to mention earlier on, to uh, addition to this year, we have a, uh, a Tomb Raider escape room, and that is in the Millennium Falcon zone, and it also is a dark room. Now, I'm not quite sure what the dark is all about, but we'll find out, we'll, we'll go more in depth. Um, and over here to my left right now is... Point off the floor, please, sir. Point off the floor. Did you in it? Well done, winner! It's the live role-playing tournament. So, pretty cool. Right, so, well done there, uh, a bit done. further on now, we've got a bit of a change to the ground. So, like I said, we've got the two marquees, the traders, we've got the marquee for the, for, for the cosplayers. What we don't have this year is the guest car, or we have the, the trucks you saw uh, for the last couple of years. Uh, the TARDIS is still there, as usual. Has to be, Doctor Who, everyone loves Doctor Who. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to have another look around the grounds and you can see sort of the whole layout and the, the grand scale of this year's Geekfest 5.0. Awesome. Okay, let's go.
So there we go. So that's part of the ground so far. So you've seen the two traders. That's the two marquees. You've seen the cosplay. So it's just about to start uh, with the uh, children's cosplay uh, with the start of the competition. Um, then obviously you saw the archery. This is the Red Ruth uh, archery and the Nerf gun tournament. So the game just started when I filmed, so that's pretty cool. Um, so we're gonna move on now because I'm about to go in and film the Resident Evil uh, almost like a, a role-playing game. It's in the dark-ish, uh, but there's live action zombies in there. So that'll be quite fun. So I'm gonna be embedded in the game and we'll see what that's like. So I'm quite excited for that actually. Uh, so I can't be late for that one. I've got to walk there now. Um, and you saw the mermaid, didn't you? Did you see the mermaid? Yes, isn't that? That's the best place to be today. It's absolutely boiling today. So, so hot. I really feel sorry for, or not sorry, but you know what I mean? Well, I do feel sorry. I feel sorry, and I just took my hat off to the guys in the cosplay, especially the Star Wars Force Charity guys and the, and the UK garrison. They must be boiling in their suits. So I can't complain being in a waistcoat. Uh, but it's all good. Right, so we're gonna head on down now to the Resident Evil and let's see what it's like. Let's do it. So it's getting busier. Uh, a lot more cosplays coming in. Look at this thing coming in, this is awesome. Right, look at this. pretty cool um, so yes a lot more right so right now going on is the cosplay competition I believe it's the children one um, and a lot of uh, a lot of anime as normal uh, here's Ross now Ross usually is Judge Dredd but today he's the Master Chief Chief now, I couldn't film um, the uh, Resident Evil role-playing you know, game where it was, um, unfortunately, uh, because um, well, I couldn't film that. I can't go into details yet because obviously with the, the organizers, um, so it's uh, on their wish, which I totally appreciate. Um, but um, I can show you the housing where the Tomb Raider escape room is. Now, probably the same. I probably can't film in there because it's within the building um, and obviously, you know, you can be part of the group, but I can show you where it is uh, and you can get a rough idea. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and ask the organizers what it's all about, and I can give you a more in depth answer for that. Right, let's have a look. Right, so just spoken to the uh, organizers. So, that behind me in that big building uh, is the Tomb Raider escape room. Now, essentially, it's very much like Crystal Maze. Okay, uh, I thought that was the case, but I didn't want to say that uh, on camera in case I completely made a fool of myself. Easily done. Um, but yeah, so uh, essentially you're locked in a room. It's three floors, so you're using three floors in that in the in that building, and essentially you're using keys, clues, um, and just objects around the room, trying to find your way out of the rooms, which is you know the name says it all. So. They are based in Newlin, uh, so it is a cool one escape room. They've got two, okay, so they've got the uh, Escape the Wild West. Hi, Rick! Um, so, um, yes, you've got two there. So you've got Escape the uh, Wild West um, down in Newlin, and you've got the Harry Potter escape room down there. Uh, this is just a pop-up, which I think they'll probably will more likely do the two mailer version as well uh, but it is a pop-up and it will pop up in comic cons but i think it's a great location and that building there is, is just absolutely perfect for it um so they're fully booked uh, today so i can't actually go in there right now um because they've just back to back which is fantastic um but um i'm back here tomorrow it is a two-day event so i'm here tomorrow as well so i will try and, uh, and where there's a maybe a lull or towards the end of the day we'll pop in there and we'll have a look 
and we can uh, we can have a look and maybe hopefully get a glimpse of what the skate rooms look like. Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Right. Hello. Hello, mate. Hey. Nice to see you yeah, again. Yeah, you too, man. Uh, yes. Right. Okay. Force of charity over here. I think they have a break. It's absolutely boiling. Not as hot as, hot as last year, but it is hot. And bless them, they are piping hot in those costumes in the um, in the Star Wars. So they're going to have a break. Fantastic. And on that note, so am I. All right. I shall see you soon. All right. Break is over. And we've got the guys are coming back in the ground. All right, here we go. It's good. All right, so round two for the day. Here we go. Okay, so we're heading now off back to the live action role play, and I think there's a fight going on, so we'll have a look. Um, I can hear shouting, which is a good sign. Yeah, so there's some guys there. Right, let's have a look and see it in action. Okay, here we go. So that was pretty cool. So that, that is the live action uh, role play, which is uh, it's pretty fun. Um, so yes, changed location this year. It's now in the outer, well, this is the outer grounds. It used to be last year and year before. There behind me in the inner grounds there, uh, pretty much where the cosplay workshop is, now where well, the cosplay competition is. Um, so it's pretty good, it's out here now. More space, it's quite confined last time. So there's more, more area for them to, to, to fight. Um, which is the space for the rest of the Comic Con um, or the event. So pretty cool. Um, my friend Leon just came just now. I don't know if you met him, but yeah, Leon, he's dressed up as um, as Deadpool. Kind of gave me a fright, really. He was just, just, just standing here, couldn't see behind me, and uh, two swords against my neck. Turn around, there we're standing as Deadpool. So it's pretty cool. So um, I'll, um, I'll, put a st I'll put a still in so you can see who he is. But uh, yeah, pretty cool. Right. So we're. Um, I'm gonna move further in now and, and see, because I, th I know that the, um, I think the adults uh, cosplay is working on now, so I'm gonna go in there and see if I can get some of the, some of the cosplays on footage. All right, while we're here, let's have a look at the Marshmallow Man once again. Absolutely love that. Absolutely love that, okay. Right, let's go, move back in. Right, so um, just coming across a fellow YouTuber, uh, Jack Walker. 
So we'll have a chat with him. Uh, I messaged him last night and said I'll say hello. Uh, he's filming right now, but uh, when we come up to him, we'll say hello to him. Um, so, but yeah, look him up because uh, he's really good. He's doing really well subscribers, more better than me. He's like 600 subscribers now. I was his 600 subscriber, funny enough. Yeah, I made him 600. That's pretty cool. Right, we'll say, uh, we'll say hello to Jack in a minute. Jack, 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 to Jack, Jack, Jack Walker. Right, so, hello. <laughs> there he is. Ladies right. and gentlemen, this is the Extinguished Geek. And did Jack Walker, quickly? you did, you did. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you again. Yes, right, mm. look at this. I love this, vlog to vlog. Amazing, uh, amazing. I can't wait to see this on YouTube. Yeah, and yours, man. Somebody <laughs> should make a you know, screen shot a side by side. That'd be good, wouldn't it? Oh yeah. That'd be good. That'd be good. Lovely. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna turn off and have a nice chat with Jack. Awesome. See you, bye bye. <laughs> Hear that? Yes, the cosplay competition walking in now. But I came across the lawn games. Remember I was talking about lawn games? Well this is one of them here. That's Ryan, my friend. I haven't seen him for years. I might say hello to him. Ryan, hello. hello. So um, I'm gonna say hello to him because I haven't seen him for bloody years. Uh, I saw on YouTube. Uh, right, look, that's lawn games. Cool, right, see you in a minute. I'm gonna catch up with my friend. See you in a minute, bye bye. 10, so. Oh, what, okay. you're on 40? No, I'm on 30. Okay, I cool, yeah, yeah. Times, yeah. So. If I actually get it, it'll look good, won't it? Oh, oh, that's outstanding. Nice. Right, that was cool. That was, that was an unexpected, nice little catch up with Ryan. So I used to work with Ryan years and years ago. Um, I can't believe when was it. Ugh, I can't even remember when 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 it was. But yeah, so yeah, it was nice to meet him. And um, so the game they're playing is called Smite, and it's a Cornish game. It was uh, I think it was made in Liscard, um, and it was it was invented like 20 years ago uh, by one of the friends of the guys there. Uh, so essentially, uh, it's very much like darts, where. I think you've got to get up to 50, that's it. So the number you have to get up to is 50. And very much like darts, you know, where, where you have to throw a dart and get to the number, it's the same thing. So if you go over 50, you lose, you go back down to 25, and then you start again. So you have to tactically get the right numbers uh, by throwing uh, that piece of wood against the other piece of wood. So it looks quite fun. It, it looks quite addictive, so... Um, just showing that shot uh, from Ryan, who got that, so he was quite uh, quite happy with that shot. So I'm going to put that on YouTube because uh, he said he'll probably never make that shot again. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. So it's uh, it's actually quite big. I wasn't aware. He was just telling me. So it's um, they have um, like a regional um, slash world championships in Bodmin um, every year, and they said that they have people come back from all the way from China, from New Zealand, uh, to come here and take part in the game. Um, so it's pretty cool. And I think they say you just pay a pound. And you, you play it. It's, it's um, fun, fun. So yeah, so there we are. So that is Smite. So um, have a look at it. Yeah, um, but I'll put I'll put the description in the um, link below. Put the link in the description below. I keep doing it back to front. What am I like? Okay. So I'm now in the cosplay tournament or, or competition. I think they're either waiting for results or they're waiting to um, have something done. But um, I'm going to try and now take or see some footage of the next stage up uh, cosplayers. So we had the, the youngsters earlier on this morning, so I think this is now the adults. So see what other people have come and um, portray themselves as. Let's have a look. <laughs> Judge's favourite is Karen for her Predator. We have the brakes on. Yeah. Our judges' favourite. Again, if you get the chance, I would take a close-up look at this cosplay. It is absolutely insane. And Karen's just lovely. Having really impressed everyone with 2,000 hand-sewed leaves, and with a face full of lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Our third place winner 
Absolutely stunning work. Go see the judges, they've got things. That's amazing, yeah. Second place! Do you know what? No. I'm going to wait for these prize collections to be done. And then another little third place round of applause. Second place in the internationally recognised cosplay competition. From a video game. Took too long to make. And she hates lamella plates. Tesney's Amaretsu! Another cosplay that needs some serious up close work. Every one of those plates is hand cut and stitched. You could not pay me to do it. Second prize. A hush falls over the expected crowd. Looking at the crowd of fantastic cosplayers, waiting to see who might possibly have won. We're disqualifying him next year. But Chaz Rowe has absolutely smashed it in her Final Fantasy XIV Dark Knight outfit. This thing deserves some real up close love, ladies and gentlemen. It is an absolute masterpiece. And also for the first place winner, ominously he says, in addition to everything in your little goodie bag, our official Geek Fest photographer has just put in the prize pot a complete photo shoot for free for you. Hey, 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 come on, come on. Anybody in a costume that doesn't know this man has not been paying attention. This is Dave. Hello, Dave. <laughs> Dave started looking at cameras about the time of Geek Fest number one. Really sucked doing cosplay photography. So another one of our homegrown heroes. Dave is the official Geek Fest photographer. If you are in a costume, he will take a picture, he will take you somewhere, he will give you the backdrop, he will make you look amazing. He doesn't charge a penny, and every picture comes back to you via the Geek Press webpage. Okay? If you want a picture of yourself, Dave. He is an absolute legend, and apparently super generous. Another round of applause for Dave. Last players, don't see this man. Keep him busy, make him sweat. Well, good old Dave. Wasn't that nice seeing him having his uh, being thanked on stage? So he's a nice bloke. You've seen him enough times, haven't you? Around uh, the Falmouth uh, cosplay workshops, you see him there once a month with me. So it's pretty cool. So if we bump into him, we'll have a nice chat with him. But obviously, I don't know where he's gone. He may have gone for a break because he's been out here for a long time taking photographs. So I know he's quite hot. Um, so the mermaid's gone, she's no longer there. So it's nice to have got the picture of, of her. Okay, so it's starting to fizzle down a bit because we've got just over an hour till the Comic Con here is finished. And then obviously we've got it back tomorrow. So, um, so as of tomorrow, the um, Star Wars guys, Force Charity, some of the lineup have changed because some of the guys can't be here because they've got work or other commitments. So we've got some other people coming in. So I believe there's an Imperial Guard here tomorrow. So that'd be cool. Um, so yeah, so combination with the Force of Charity and the UK Garrison, um, they'll make up the numbers. So I believe there's um, about eight here tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure if Darth Vader's here or not. Uh, we'll soon see. Um, so here comes Lee. You met Lee last year in Falmouth. Yeah. Hello. Hey, I'm hey. back the legend of Falmouth. Who are you today? Who are you today? I was Joker. I was Joker. 
a wizard. Yeah. I probably was. Awesome. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, there's Jack. All yeah. right, cool. High five, Lee. Yes. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Yeah, we're all new friends. Okay, cool. So, star. If you haven't seen um, the two butterflies, Falmouth comic and movie fest last year's um, vlog, watch it, you'll see him in there. But he is essentially a Cornwall legend. Absolutely. And there's Jack Sparrow. I did, I did just do it, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. Yes. Um, right, there we are. Right, we're moving on. So that's the Sabre Combat Academy, they're based in Plymouth. Um, so they do classes, they have classes down in, in Plymouth uh, and obviously come to events like this and obviously as you can see they are um, teaching people now how to um, almost like stage combat uh, with lightsabers. Pretty cool. So yeah, I love it. They do really well, they're very popular. Uh, so traders have done really well today. They've, uh, it's been really beneficial having the two marquees as opposed to the one marquee that have, have had for the last four years. So two marquees have done really well. Uh, been really busy. And yeah, so pretty cool. So if you haven't been to Geek Fest before, it's worth coming down. So it's always held around about July, um, sort of mid-July. Um, so they're quite quick actually giving out the dates for the next year. So um, as of probably, I'd say a couple of weeks, maybe to uh, up to a month after this weekend's event, we should know what, uh, what date next year they'll be here. So yeah, but worth coming down. It's fantastic, great family atmosphere. It's always held for two days, uh, always on a Saturday and a Sunday. Uh, it's fantastic. All right, so it's got brilliant grounds. It's for literally the whole family. I mean, you've got, like I said, lawn games, uh, inflatable uh, sort of running area for, for it's the youngsters. And um, obviously you've got on food sites, you've got, you've got a cafe in the far corner, which is actually part of the Heartlands, uh, which is organized by Amber and Inc, who actually run this area. And then you've actually got the, the food vans, which are on site as well. Uh, there's quite a lot of places actually actually take card here so even the traders in the, in the marquees they take card some of them do so yeah so it's you're not just left uh, with just you know with the cash um, so it is literally for the whole family and then you've got the great cosplay uh, workshops uh, so not workshops the cosplay uh, competitions um, from from the kids sort of the sort of teenagers and the adults uh, so it's great fun to watch that. So if you ever get a chance to come down here and watch that, because it's really good. It's really good to see uh, different people's ideas and, and different people's, you know, so, uh, of, of costumes. Uh, some are so detailed. I mean, look at the winner. Look at the winner. Just then. Absolutely stunning. I mean, the amount of work on that was, was so cool. Um, so yeah. So come down. Um, it's in uh, Heartland's pool, sort of Camborne, uh, in Cornwall. Uh, really easy to get to. So yeah, come to it. Two day event. Uh, yeah, so far it's always been sunny. Really good, isn't it? You may have jinxed it now, haven't I? Uh, but yeah, really good. Right, so we're gonna just take a quick look around uh, so we can see more uh, cosplayers before they all go home. Um, cool, yeah. Right, okay, let's look around.
So those girls across the water, they're dancing, are called Jump Start. Um, said so almost like an anime uh, dance group. Pretty cool. Like I said, anime is just, it just seems to be increasing now. So it's, it, needs, it seems to be the, the biggest uh, sort of cosplay at the moment in the cosplay competitions. Uh, it's always an anime and um, Final Fantasy, that sort of thing, and Dragon Ball Z and things like that. So yeah, pretty cool. Not my expertise, I don't know much about it, so uh, I'm just hearing things every time I, I, I come to Comic Con to see more, I get some more information, and you know, I get the idea of what they're all about, but it's nothing about, nothing about it, but it's pretty cool, okay? It's, it's I mean, uh, quite arty, I love it, so yeah, it's pretty cool, but it seems to, ha it seems to be like their own little world, which is fantastic, you know, maybe something to look into. Um, but on the Yes, I love it. Cool. Um, other thing I was going to say is that they haven't gone. They're still here. Um, so, a bit less in numbers. I think um, some of them may be too hot to go back into their suits, uh, which don't blame them. I'm hot in my waistcoat, but I have nowhere to complain about that because I'm just in a waistcoat. They're in their suits. So I'll take my hat off of them. And all the other cosplayers here, they've done so well today so well and absolutely fantastic day um and everyone's here is happy i mean it's it, like i said it's a really great family event so if you haven't been here before come down enjoy it two-day event saturday and sunday usually always in july like i said when we get the uh, new date for next year's event which will probably be bigger again 6.0 um yeah i'll put it on right okay I'm now going to venture off to the other end again, to where the Marshmallow Man again is, and just have a look what's down there, because I haven't been down there for about a couple of hours, see if anything's changed. All right, here we go. Yeah, so we've still got the live action role play happening down here, still going on, bless them, still fighting away. And obviously you've got the, the children's play area down here, but the most important thing, the most important thing down here that the ice cream man I am absolutely thirsty so I'll be a nice I'll give myself a, a drink not an ice cream oh no can't do that with this beard this beard has been a nightmare I can't have a Mr Whippy anymore I have to change my whole dietary requirements pretty much so I can't eat anything like ice creams or anything like that because it gets my beard awful right okay so I'm gonna give myself a drink and then we'll move on all right That's cool, so that's the guy that was dressed up as one of the guys from Aliens. Uh, so it was a Christmas, do you remember I went to UK CGF in Truro? It must have been somewhere like 9th of December uh, last year. Uh, you, you can see one of the vlogs and yeah, so I got chatting to him and that's the one who told me it took him quite a while to build uh, that Alien gear. That one took him years, okay, that took him years. Didn't tell me how long, but yeah, it took him a long time, so yeah. Um, You've me pretty detailed, wasn't it? Yeah, pretty cool. Lovely. Look at this guy. Well, there we go. So that, I think we'll call it a day. So that is day one of Geek Fest 5.0. Pretty cool day. Lots happening. So much happening. So tomorrow, 
I'm hoping to secure to get myself into the Tomb Raider escape rooms and have a look and hopefully we can get a slot between, because they're fully booked, if we can get a slot between um, the bookings, I should hopefully be able to get in there, film, and you can have a look and see what it's like. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, so like I said, there'll be a few different lineup with the Force for Charity in the UK garrison lot. Um, the events wise, uh, obviously the cosplay competitions, there'll be new cosplayers tomorrow because uh, it's the second day, so there'll be a new event. Uh, so it'll be quite exciting to see uh, who's there tomorrow. Obviously we'll have some, some of the cosplayers from today here as well. Uh, not sure if they'll be entering themselves into tomorrow's competition, but they may still be on the ground, which would be great. Uh, and essentially all the events you can see here, so the traders, the marshmallow man, uh, the role playing and all this stuff, they're also going to be here and we're going to have another look at that. Um, yes, pretty cool. So, also possibly um, my wife and my daughter may be here tomorrow as well, so that'd be cool. And if, if they are coming and my daughter is coming, uh, she'll be dressed up as something, but I'm not going to tell you right now. I'll not going to reveal it. You can see tomorrow. All right, cool. Okay, guys. What a lovely day, what a lovely evening. I'm gonna go home, enjoy the sunshine. Not like I have enjoyed it already, it's been beautiful. And that's it, right, brilliant. Lovely guys, have a lovely weekend. See you tomorrow, goodbye.